All stars begin as equals. A star forms from massive clouds of dust and gas in space, also known as a nebula. Gravity then begins to pull the dust and gas together, and under high pressure and temperature, hydrogen nuclei can fuse together to make helium, so that a protostar is formed. During this stable phase of the star's life cycle, the force of gravity holding the star together is balanced by high pressure due to the extremely high temperature. For a small star, similar to the size of our sun, it then begins to use up the hydrogen and the fusion process. When this happens, the core of the star will begin to shrink and heat up, starting a new series of reactions around the core. This causes the outer part of the star to swell up, and it will become a red giant. When all the nuclear reactions are over, the red giant begins to contract under the pull of gravity. The core will collapse and the star becomes a white dwarf, fading in color as it cools. A larger star that's more massive than our sun follows a slightly different life cycle. After the stable period, it becomes a more massive red giant called the red supergiant. Once the reactions finish, the core of the red supergiant will collapse suddenly, causing a gigantic explosion called the supernova. At the center of this explosion, a dense body remains so that a neutron star will form. The neutron star continues to collapse under the force of gravity until it forms a black hole. To summarize, here's the life cycle for a star similar to the size of our sun and a star much more massive than our sun.